Hello everyone. Hi, I am Shriya Goshami. It's your favorite educational channel, Experience Learning. And uh, here we are going to discuss about the MCQ tricks which will help you to solve the MCQ in a quick and efficient manner. And I shall cover today uh, the tree traversal, binary tree traversal. And in a very, very quickly, you can solve this. So it will actually help you to crack the competitive exam like ISRO, GATE, NET, SET and others. Okay, let's start. So let's start taking into con consideration that you know about binary tree still I am going to tell you about it. Binary tree is a kind of tree where you have at most two child like uh, see I have this one A you can have this that means having one child and this one having two children. But not more than this at most two children or without having any child this is also possible so this is binary tree so in case of binary tree when we are going to traverse it we have to consider three things one is the node what i am taking here next the left that means the left subtree and then the right subtree so if we just see that uh, we have to actually traverse one parameter node second uh, left third right so three factorial it is six so there is six possibilities there isn't it if i am considering that uh, node as n so the possibilities are Note left right possible, note right left also possible. Next, left node right, next, left right note and la right node left right left node. So these are the six possibilities, isn't it? But here the standard one is always the left will be traversed before right. So which one is satisfying this condition? Let's check it. Left before right. Okay. Fine. Left before right? No. Left before right? Yes. Left before right? Yes. Left before right, no. Left before right, no. So only we are taking three uh, three possibilities where the left will be traversed before right. And here we are getting three possibilities. Now, in case of the first one, this one, when I am taking node, then left, then right, this is Pre-order traversal. This one is known as pre-order traversal. When node, then left subtree, then right subtree. Next one, first left, then node, then right. It is in-order traversal. This is in-order traversal. Left, then node, then right. And uh, it is left right last node this is post order traversal this is post order traversal okay this is one of the most simplest form of binary tree if i am going to traverse it using the pre order traversal so what will be the result we can see that node then left then right. 
So in case of pre-order, note that means A, then left B, then right C. Fine, this is for the pre-order traversal. Next, in-order traversal. In case of in-order traversal, it will be, we can see, first left, then note, then right. So here it is note, node left, B, A, C. Next, post-order traversal. Post-order traversal is like left, right, then node. Okay. Left, this node, node left, B, right, C, then after traversal of left and right entirely, then it will be node. So this is the simplest form of traversing of tree using either pre-order, in-order or post-order. It is very easy in case of this kind of tree, this is the simplest form of binary tree. But if it is not like this, let's see. So if the tree is like this, you can understand. So it is a little bit tedious if you are following this node left, right, because node left, left, again node, on all like this, you have to uh, keep it in mind. So here is a tricks. Let's start. Okay, first I'm going to discuss about the pre-order traversal. The pre-order traversal. In case of pre-order traversal, draw an arrow in this direction for each node. This direction for each node. For each node, the arrow will be first drawn. For each node, I have already drawn this. Isn't it? Okay. Now, it's like a flow of water. Okay, see one thing. Oops. So first it's touching, first it's touching A. So I'm writing A, then B, then D. And again, after ending of it, it will go upper, then this way. So here, second uh, E, then G, and now again we start traversing in this way. It is. So first it will touch C, then it will touch F, then it will touch H. Check. So this is the tricks for pre-order traversal. You can conventionally check it also. I think you will get this answer. So this is the final pre-order traversal. Hope you can understand. Just draw arrow for each node and then just like this. Okay. Next, uh, hope you remember for pre-order traversal, uh, I have uh, drawn the arrow in left direction. Now for in-order traversal, we have to do the things. Just draw the arrow in lower direction. Okay. Draw the arrow in lower direction like this. Okay, fine. Now you have to do almost the same thing. Let's start. First, it will start it from the root. Now come. Not able to touch any arrow now. Now it's touching D. Okay, fine. D will be written. Next, going upward, B. B will be written. Next, Come down. G. It's touching G. 
G will be written now E E will be written now A touching A A will be written now C will be written next down H will be written now F will be written finally whatever so every node is traversed isn't it so coming from root but it stretch D first D then B then G E A C again coming down H F in this way this is what in order traversal. Hope you can understand. So, uh, we have already discussed about pre order and in order traversal. In case of pre order, hope you remember the arrow will be drawn in left direction, and in in order traversal, the arrow will be drawn in lower direction. Now, we are going to discuss about post order uh, you can press on the i button and you can see the detail of post order traversal is already discussed okay still i am going to discuss here about the tricks of post order let's start um, in case of post order traversal the arrow will be drawn in right direction like for each node the arrow will be drawn Okay, fine. Now you have to do almost the same thing. Start it from root. Okay, fine. D. First, it's touching D. Next, uh, not able to get any arrow. It's touching G. Fine. Then, Touching E. Now going this direction, upward direction, it will touch B. Next coming down, down, down. Again moving upward, it will touch H. Touch F. It will touch C and finally going to touch the root that is D. So in case of post order we know also that the node will be last. So we are also satisfying this condition. You can also solve it in conventional way. The This is also discussed in previous video. Click on the i button. Hope you can understand. Uh, okay, now I am going to give you one question which was in ISRO probably 2018. So, uh, this question in uh, 2018 ISRO it was given and according to the question which traversal of tree 1 and tree 2 respectively will produce the same sequence. And options are given uh, pre order, post order, uh, post order, in order, post order, pre order, in order, pre order. Uh, now, uh, solve this question and uh, write it in comment box. What is the right answer? And also mention the time within this time period. You are just able to complete this question. I just want to give you one hint that uh, in case of tree 1, you can remember it that if we are drawing the arrow in the right direction, the G will be touched first, isn't it? In case of tree 1 and in case of pre-order traversal, tree 2 will be, uh, in case of G will be touched first in case of pre-order traversal. I, I can just uh, visualize it in this way. I don't know what is the right answer. You have to check it and let me know about it. 
hope you enjoyed this session if you have any question any doubt any suggestion write it in comment box hope you guys enjoyed this bye bye